The results of the Value of Water survey, developed by ITT Corporation, were announced at the 2010 Atlantic Green Intelligence Forum. ITT's survey reveals what Americans think should be done about our nation's water crisis and who should pay for it. ITT went out and wanted to ask uh, the, the public, um, the voters, what they thought about water. 95% say water is the most valued service that they get. The in-depth survey produced many more surprising findings about the way Americans think about water. People throughout the United States uh, truly care about water, but, but perhaps take it for granted. The water uh, systems that we have in our nation are crumbling. Uh, they are, uh, the EPA gave us a D- minus rating for the water infrastructure that we have in the United States, and they also estimate that it would take approximately half a trillion dollars to bring that water infrastructure up to standard. The survey found that most Americans want reform and recognize the need for increased investment in our nation's water infrastructure. Water right now is too cheap. It's something that people don't uh, know the true value of it all throughout the whole chain. They don't uh, see the value in conserving it anyway. Long absent from the national debate about infrastructure, water is now a national priority. And the American public is willing to play a large part in the solution. Our survey said that the average consumer be, would be willing to spend $6.20 more per month on their water bill, or 11% more. When you toll that up across the United States, it adds up to $5.4 billion. Looking at the ITT survey results, it seems that people would be willing to pay a bit more to uh, make things a bit better. Americans feel that this is a shared responsibility with policymakers leading the way and business doing their part. There's got to be some partnerships between the industry and government to be able to find the most effective and efficient way to provide the services, to be able to upgrade the infrastructure. ITT recognizes that there is also a role for them to play. We manufacture pumps and treatment devices that start at the very beginning drawing water out of a source, cleaning that water, distributing it to users of that water, collecting wastewater, and treating it for introduction back into the environment or for reuse. In the long term, major reform is needed to support our nation's water infrastructure, and ITT's survey has made it clear where we will find that support. Charge enough for water so that they can reinvest in the water infrastructure so that it doesn't decay and fall out of repair. Perhaps the first step towards reform is awareness. We hope that the survey means that people will realize the magnitude of the problem and raise the priority that water gets in the debate over our infrastructure.